Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, June the 9th. We're going to talk about a very special event that is coming up in just a couple of days from now. Sarah Reindell is with us, Relay for Life for the Cancer. Good to have you here, Sarah. Thank you for having me. And this me. really is one of the most important events, I think, that we have in, in Boone County and one of the most special. Relay for Life, tell me about it. Well, Relay for Life is uh, the main fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. It's a 12, usually a 12-hour event. Ours is 12 hours. It's from noon to midnight this Saturday the 11th. And it's a time for us to celebrate the survivors and remember those we have lost mm -hmm. in their battle with cancer and to fight back. We usually try to have a, a motivating time at the end and kind of say, what are we going to do to fight back against cancer? Mm -hmm. The most important thing too is is awareness is awareness that how how many advances have been made in the treatment of cancer over the years it just in the past five or six years there have been advances but when you think back over 20 or 30 years it's night and day difference yeah. and you've got people who are survivors you still do the the walk the, uh, the walk and the run. The opening ceremonies yeah, with, the survivors. with the survivors, they open they, right. their first lap. I, and that is so very special because these are people who are winning that battle against cancer. And it's a wonderful time to get together for camaraderie. And then you pay special tribute to the ones who have gone on. Yep, the Luminaria ceremony is my favorite part of Relay. I think it's probably one of your favorite yeah. parts. And we light bags and surround the track, circle the track with bags that are decorated in memory of people who have lost their battle or who are, who are currently fighting. And it's always a really emotional time, mm -hmm. um, but that's my favorite part. So, okay, so if people want to come, it'll be Saturday, June the... 11th. June the 11th from noon until midnight. Mm -hmm. At the location? Tol Father Tolton High School on the south side of town okay. here in Columbia. And you can go and you can buy the luminaries there and make yeah. a donation and... Yeah, there'll be teams. We have bounce house, all kinds of activities for kids face painting. You can learn how to break boards with some Taekwondo. Okay, and so everything. Times. So just make it, make it a date to try to make it out there sometime between noon and midnight on Saturday, June the 11th, 11th for Relay yep. for Life, American Cancer Thank Society. You. Thank you so much. Now, Barbara Buffalo is sitting over here, the city of Columbia. Hello. Good to Hi, have ben. you here. Good to be here. We're not going to do trash talk today, no, are we? No, 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 no. But I do encourage people to recycle. Yeah, you know, of course. Kind of it's thing. important to recycle. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. you wanted to talk about the, Como. Yeah, the Como Energy Challenge. So if you remember, I've been on a few times talking to the oh, community yeah. about this two-year competition that we're in to win five million dollars right yeah uh, that's the Como energy challenge where the people of Colombia reduce the use of electricity yes. yeah and, and it has and to natural be gas energy just energy at home that's electricity right and, and natural gas like if you have oh, a natural, furnace, natural gas I didn't furnace. know that that's part oh of the Como gosh. challenge we have let me just tell you I have Wait gotten, a minute. I never heard about the natural gas thing well that's because you usually just talk to David Mars about energy efficiency but on electricity, but we also want people to save with natural gas as well. So that's part of the Como yeah, challenge? So, so we have some awesome utilities, you know, Water and Light, Boone Electric, and Ameren, Missouri are all contributing their data of the consumption here in Columbia for us to report to Georgetown University so we can measure how we're doing as a community to save energy. Okay, so not just turning off your lights, right. 
But turning the uh, the water heater down. Turning a the bit. water heater down in the winter time, asking people to think about setting the thermostat so that maybe they're not as toasty and warm in their tank top and flip flops in the living room. And then as we're coming up on summertime, asking people to think about their program thermostat to make sure they're not cooling their house when they're not there, or you know, leaving the air conditioning on when they leave during the workday or on the weekends when they're not there. To really think about how you. Heat Heat and cool your space. Okay, but I have a question about turning the air conditioner off when you're not there. Oh, okay. Isn't it, isn't it less efficient though? If you, let's say it's 90 degrees outside. Right. And you're going to be gone for eight hours and you shut the air conditioning down. The, the humidity is, to turn yeah, it back the, the, on, that yeah, sort the, of the, the heat The house is going to get warm, the walls are going to get warm, the furniture is going to get warm. Then you turn it back on. Doesn't it have to run longer so, to cool things down? Well, so what I would say there is that um, what you're going to want to think about first is how efficient is your house in the first place? Because if your house, if you've been through a home energy assessment and it's a pretty efficient house, good insulation, good weather stripping, windows and doors, then turning off your air conditioner should not lose as much as your conditioned air okay. or let in as much as the humidity. Okay. That's now, a good that's, answer. That's a good answer. And I would also say, though, obviously health concerns are a real issue. Issue, right. humidity, people with allergies. So I don't want you to, to sacrifice your, your family's comfort, but I do want you to think about maybe if you can't turn it off, you just turn it so it goes a little bit warmer, like mm -hmm. setting the thermostat to go to like 78 or 82, letting it kind of slowly warm up so mm -hmm. that when you come back home and you program it so it gets cooler when you get home, it doesn't have to work as hard, right. but it has been saving you energy and helping us win $5 million. Okay. And, and replace your light bulbs with the um, LEDs. You know the, the price LEDs. is coming down on those. Yeah, and I like those LEDs. I know you like the light quality. I Everybody like the likes LEDs the light quality. A whole lot. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're pretty expensive, but no, uh, no but their price. I mean, I've been seeing them on sale. Deals for buy four get one free. Things like that at Westlake or at Lowe's. Well, but even though you're paying more for the LEDs. You're saving money in the you're long run. You're saving money. And they you last have, longer. They, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. What do they last? 20 years? Yeah, something like that? Yeah, and they're showing to last longer than the lifetime was shown on the CFLs. One thing to always remember with your expectations on lifetime is that it's hours used. So always remember, even if you have a long-lasting light bulb, but if you leave the light on all the time, that's still wasting energy if you're not in the room. So mm -hmm. always think about the lifetime of it for your expectations for how long it's okay. going to last. Okay, and turn the... Uh, gas water heater down Turn you know what i do whenever i'm going to be gone for like a not for a day yeah but for a like a weekend or a trip or, yeah. or something turn the water heater to vacation yeah you can save a lot of energy to, to vacation. that vacation and i think what is it it just the pilot just stays on that yeah yeah and you have it it's not basically trying to heat it no tons and of water. i notice when i come home like if i'm gone for two weeks and i turn it down to vacation mm -hmm. when i come home the water is still warm it's mm -hmm. not hot right but it's warm and then you turn it back up to the regular right okay? right yeah all right we're out of time barbara buffalo okay Paul if people Pepper. want more information barbara buffalo <laughs> where do they go comoenergychallenge.com you can also go on there and see a map of columbia and see how your neighborhood is performing okay and by the way i like your new haircut thank you you should everyone tune into the video okay, okay. <laughs> the new haircut it's different uh <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> talking hearts production and have you health care <laughs> She has a great personality. Thank you, Barbara Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> if there's something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperpmissouri.edu, and let me know what you think about her hairdo there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Have yourself a good day. Bye-bye.